How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today we have the Newcastle Legends who never really got given a chance. It is Luke de Jong and um, he's got this Man of the Match award winner card for his performance in the Europa League final. We're going to review it a day for you guys and see if he is kind of tweets which said headers are his speciality is actually a thing on this game, which you guys kind of know, headers, they kind of suck on this game. We're going to review him regardless today and see what he's like for you guys at home. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to this channel and the second channel, Marshall 89 Gaming as well. If you want to see more FIFA 21 content going forwards from next month. Is it next month the game comes out and then the month after? October 1st anyways, it's not that long away right now and the content's going to be... All over the place, all over the place. Not in terms of like not um, not uh, scheduled, not organized, not not like that. It's just gonna be loads of content to feast your eyes upon and consume for you guys. So I'm very, I'm, I'm so looking forward to it, lads. I really, really am. And if you do enjoy this review, on look to young, smash that thumbs up, boys, and uh, notification bell. Set it on. So in terms of Luke De Jong, he's six foot two. You can see that on the screen right now. His weird thing is that he's got medium to high work rates. Now that is very, very strange for an attacker in this game to uh, have an impetus. Uh, is that a word? Impetus? Is that, is that a bloody word? Uh, to have this kind of, I don't know, work rates to not go as forward as far as possible, but defend like he's like depends on it. So what this allows him to do and. For me, it was very strange. Experiencing the first game was very, very strange. What he does do is he drops. He drops into uh, the kind of cam area. Not where the cam is. He just, he drags the center back out. But what he does do when you get the ball and you trigger run, he runs him behind that center back. So it's absolutely fantastic and it works really well. Honestly, I found his movements to be uh, absolutely terrific. Freestyle skills. Does that impact the cards? In my opinion, yes, it does. Because at this stage in the game, you're looking for four star or five star. That is simply what you're looking for, especially in attackers to uh, kind of bamboozle your way through defenses. But he's got a five star weak for us, which is truly, truly tremendous as you're looking at his in-game stats right now. Um, they look amazing. Apart from the agility balance, 78 and 81 respectively, aggression of 64, the rest... Maybe long shots as well, 82. Uh, the rest is literally spot on. Literally spot on for what you look for in a player in this game. Pace, it looks like it's a 88 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. I've got to say, once he hit that top speed, he was gone. He was very, very fast in this game. 99 second position, 98 finish, 99 shot power, 99 volleys. This guy knows how to find the back of the net. Honestly, he's just crazy in front of goal and he will score a numerous amounts. I think in three games I've played, he scored eight times, including the header. Or two, which you'll see in a, in a few. Because he's got 99 head accuracy, 96 jumping. So someone that's 6'2", he will win headers on this game. It's just the accuracy of pawn headers in front of goal in this game, it kind of sucks. But he's got a trait that helps him out a lot of the time. In terms of passing, it's good enough. It's short pass 96, vision's 85. The curve is on the low side at 78, but it didn't seem to matter too, too much. Uh, 78 agility, 81 bounce, not the greatest in the world. 99 reactions, 99 ball control. His first touch is exquisite. He's got 89 uh, dribbling and 90. 99 composure. Uh, like I said, we said and accuracy stuff. He's also got 99 stamina, 99 strength, 64 in terms of aggression. And the trait that does help him is power header. Helps him a lot because it generates the power upon the header. If you got the accuracy, he generates the power. You're good to go. And uh, that's what, one of the things you will see during this review. So without any further ado, let's get in the gameplay to see what he's like. So here we go on into the gameplay. You're going to see goals galore because this guy was very good at his position and stuff. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you when um, he makes those movements for the the positioning. Because it is absolutely fantastic from that time to time. That was a very simple goal, which I did a one see off the keeper. It sometimes happens on this game. I didn't mean it. It was just like a shot from a... An, a um, a position which I was never going to score in. A shot from position which I was never going to score in. And just tried my luck. And it luckily bounced back to me. And um, I do score the tap. And on his five-star week, but what a finish. But lads, his positioning is absolutely exquisite on this game. And he's got a great touch on him as well. Look at that flick, man. Fantastic. And um, he does finish it with a plum because his volleys are exquisite. Honestly, if you're going to take anything away from this uh, video, his finishing is goat status. And what I mean by goat status is literally everything he touches inside the penalty box in order to score a goal, he will score a goal. Uh, can I get an example of this position? Maybe on this clip, maybe on this clip. We win the ball. Just look at the top end of your screen uh, where De Jong is placed. He's not the last man. He's dropped back deep, but it allows him to burst forward in, uh, forward in important situations. Rice kind of late in the area there. And he scores a header. 
Can you score headers? Yes, you can. Is it gonna be his special technique on this game? No, because headers on FIFA 21 are few and very far in between. They're, honestly, they're not crazy. They're not gonna go in every single time. It's not like a guaranteed goal, but this guy, he can definitely score given the chance for the headers. If you direct it and stuff like that, he's got the power to put it in the back of the net. He's just got a great finish on him. But what I wanted you to see on that clip it was not the header, it was his position and luck. He's not the last man there. I trigger the run just right there, and he runs in a straight line. And when he does that, he's got sprint speed to get him behind the fences. And uh, I had the composure there to get it back on his left foot and put it into the back of the net. So everything when it comes to finishing, lads, is nigh on perfect. Nigh on perfect. From the finishing, the shot power, the volleys. His long shots isn't the greatest in the world. I'll, I'll not, like, uh, BS you about that. His long shots aren't the greatest in the world at 82. Uh, um, but inside the box, lads, he knows how to score a goal or 52. Honestly, he's just fantastic in front of goal. And his heading is great as well. I'm not talking about his heading accuracy in front of goal because, honestly, this game, heading-wise, just isn't all that. But again, it's another late run from De Jong. Kind of goes down the ground there very, very easily. But um, it was a good challenge from my opponent, to be fair. That's Frankie De Jong into this there. De Jong eventually. Lads, look at the control. Look at that and look at that. Lads, 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 he's finishing this just nuts. Um, my opponent actually did rage quit this this kind of second right there. So, um, yeah, honestly, his touch is absolutely phenomenal. And his dribbling's okay, but he lacks the agility, which is why you can see him on the power dribble. What I mean by power dribble is where you dribble with your head down. You just run in straight lines. Whereas, if you've got the agility, you run in different angles. This, that, and the other. You weave, you bob, you dip, you dive, you dodge ball. Uh, yeah, you don't dodge ball. You actually want the ball. But, um, yeah, he does all that stuff. But his agility does impact the cards. And his freestyle skills does limit the cards. Which you don't want at this stage. And if you don't want cards, kind of limited. But this card is absolutely fantastic at times time. And the overall rating I will give him... 9.3. That's good. That is good. 9.3 is what he's going to get. At this stage of the game, you're looking for 9.5 plus because it's end game. You want end game players. Do I think he's end game? No. Do I think he's a fun card? Yes. I mean, it's not it's not bad in terms of fun cards. And to, to use every now and then, I see Griezmann get the ball, play it in soon. Again, the late runner of Frankie, uh, Frankie De Jong, uh, Luke De Jong, and Luke De Jong does finish it again with a plum because that's what he does. Uh, best stats, 99 volleys, 99 shot power. He's got 99 in terms of composure, ball control, reactions, stamina, strength, head and accuracy, uh, attack and positioning. He's got so many nine, 99s, man. It's incredible. Uh, but he does have a lot of 99s. The worst aggression and ability. Um, ability? Agility. Because this guy's got ability. What am I saying there? Um, but the rest of his pros, he got the, the first touch, the top speed, the movements, and the stamina. I put strength in there as well. 99 strength is very, very good. As you see, another good touch. And it's the first touch straight in the back of the net. Absolutely sensational. The value for coins in this card, 9.7. He's 100k on the Xbox. 95k on the PlayStation. Right now... It's not a bad price, considering the prices of like, uh, I think this is an 84 SPC, but the price of 84s are through the bloody roof, lads. Um, so that's not a bad price for the card in general. So it's not too, too bad. And the meta rate now will give for Luke De Jong, it's a 9.0. He doesn't have the agility to be the meta, meta, meta on this game, but he will score goals. Lads, well, hope you have enjoyed this review. If you have, once again, uh, a like would be very much appreciated from you guys. Drop a comment in the comment section below. What do you want to see from me in FIFA 21? And um, I'll look to, to reply to every single comment today. If you guys are willing to comment, I'm willing to respond, which I'm always like that. If you guys ask a question... I'll definitely answer. So thank you very much for spending your time watching this today. I know the real ones are watching every single video right now. The fake ones, you guys know who you're fake, are uh, watching here and then. But lads, I, I don't blame you. FIFA 20 is basically done now, but we still crack on. We still give you the content and um, we still motor on. So I hope you have enjoyed. Remember, check out the second channel as well, which will be launching come FIFA 21. But lads, thank you very much for joining me today. And um, yeah, hope you have a great day in general. But as always, from myself, like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you all next time.